Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Scott Giacomucci. I'm the director and founder of the Phoenix Center for Experiential Trauma Therapy in Media, Pennsylvania. I'm board certified in clinical social work and psychodrama, and I'm an experiential therapy trainer and educator. I'm really uh, excited that you found this video, and I hope that you find it helpful in your work. This is part of an ongoing video series highlighting my recently published book, Social Work, Sociometry, and Psychodrama, Experiential Approaches for Group Therapists, Community Leaders, and Social Workers. In this video series, we'll be going through the book chapter by chapter to articulate some of the content of the book, to warm you up to the book, perhaps, or to help you further understand, process, and digest the content and the processes that are outlined in this book. If you haven't already gotten a copy of the book, you can download it for free online at Springer, uh, Springer Nature's website, the publisher, or on Amazon through their ebook platform. If you do find the book helpful, I would uh, be incredibly grateful if you considered leaving an Amazon review, an honest Amazon review, about the book so that we can help uh, reach future audiences. In this video, we'll be focusing on Chapter 5 of the book. Chapter 5 is on sociometry and social work theory. So if you haven't heard of the term sociometry before, the simplest way to think of sociometry is that it's just a fancy word for group dynamics. If we take the word sociometry and split it in half, we have sociometry. And so uh, we can infer that sociometry is about the measurement of social aspects of experience. It's about measurements within groups. Sociometry is about the, in the inquiry into the evolution of groups, the position of individuals within groups. Uh, it's both a qualitative and quantitative method for exploring the quantity of relationships, the matrix of relationships within a group, or within a community or within society, while also exploring the nature of those relationships, the quality of those relationships, the characteristics of those relationships. So sociometry is the first part of psychodrama's triadic system. Sociometry, psychodrama, and group psychotherapy. I encourage you to check out some of the other videos in this series uh, to learn more about the other parts of the triadic system. In this video, we're going to focus entirely on sociometry. So <clears throat> it's important to keep in mind that sociometry is a system with three parts. So the first part is the theory, sociometric theory. This is a theory of society. It's a theory of interpersonal relations, and it's a theory about groups and communities. The second part of the system is the research aspect. So sociometry is also a research method for studying the structure of groups, communities, society, and the relationships and dynamics within groups and society. And the third part of the sociometric system is the, the clinical practice, or, or practice in general, where we use sociometric tools and tests for reorganizing groups for optimal functionality. So a sociometrist could uh, assess the underlying dynamics of a group, community, or organization using sociometric means, and then using sociometry tools or other tools intervene on those underlying dynamics within the group or organization to promote greater health, uh, greater functioning within that group or community. There's a quote from Jacob Moreno, the founder of Sociometry, Psychodrama, that I'd like to read to you. <clears throat> this is from the first book on group psychotherapy. Moreno writes, Group psychotherapy, sociometry, and psychodrama are like three sons born from one another. They grew together and nourished each other. Group psychotherapy may never have succeeded had sociometry not followed immediately and spread the news about the group and the dynamics of group structure. All three developments are the products of a single germinal idea. So in this quote, we can see 
<clears throat> a little bit about how Moreno thinks about sociometry um, and how it's an integral and integral part of his triadic system, sociometry, psychodrama, and group psychotherapy. There's been a tendency in the field to isolate psychodrama outside of the triadic system and to consider and practice it as its own entity, uh, which is misleading and not in integrity with the way the method was created and designed. Um, Moreno used to even say that he would use psychodrama to get people into the room so that he could teach them about sociometry. So he really, really believed in the importance of sociometry. Perhaps Moreno's most famous quote, which is the beginning of one of his most famous books, Who Shall Survive? It's also the, the motto of the American Board of Examiners in Psychodrama and the American Society of Group Psychotherapy in Psychodrama. In the quote, he says that a truly therapeutic procedure cannot have less an objective than the whole of mankind. Many people don't realize there's a second part to that quote that really points to the importance of sociometry. The second part of that quote, the second part of that sentence, but no adequate therapy can be prescribed as long as mankind is, a, is not a unity in some fashion and as long as its organization remains unknown. This is on page three uh, of Who Shall Survive. This was a, a point that my trainer, uh, Ed Schreiber, really emphasizes that we need to look at the entire quote. And this is a, a quote that really, really highlights the importance of sociometry that we can't create a truly therapeutic procedure that approaches all of humankind, that intervenes on the underlying dynamics within society and within other groups. We can't prescribe any kind of therapy unless we first do some sociometric assessment to understand the underlying dynamics within society and within groups within society. Uh, in many ways, sociometry is unique in that it it works to bridge the gaps between psychology and sociology. Uh, it serves as a bridge uh, in that way. Interestingly, the sociologist, uh, the American sociologist, really adopted sociometry um, and, and re actually published Moreno's sociometry journal for decades. Um, they were the first, some of the first to really uh, celebrate and recognized Moreno's work when he immigrated to the United States. Moreno's sociometric work, and particularly the research aspect of it, became the foundation for participatory action research. And if you look in the handbook of participatory action research, you'll find references to Moreno and his early contributions uh, to the field, to this research approach. And sociometry is also the foundation of social network theories and social network research. So although it's largely unknown uh, in itself, it's supported the development of other methods that have become quite popular. Group dynamics research is another one. Uh, Jonathan Moreno, the, the son of Jacob Moreno, um, also a professor of bioethics at University of Pennsylvania, he writes that sociometry is a science by, for, and of the people. So sociometry is uh, intimately connected to democracy. It's looking at the distribution of choices and preferences, uh, votes perhaps, uh, within a group. Um, in many ways, sociometry tries, tries to bridge the gap in research between quantitative and qualitative explorations of interpersonal relations. Uh, Moreno uh, writes that the qualitative aspect of social structures is not destroyed or forgotten. Instead, it's an integrated into the quantitative operations. It acts from within. The two aspects of structure are treated in combination as a unit when, when uh, using sociometric methods. So sociometry tries to integrate aspects of both quantitative and qualitative research designs. Uh, in 1943, Moreno writes that sociometry has taught us to be pessimistic, critical of all enterprises which try to solve problems of human relations, 
without the most intensive participation of the people involved and the most intensive knowledge of their psychosocial living conditions. So you can see in this quote how Moreno's thinking strongly reflects and mirrors participatory action research, where he's highlighting the importance of involving the participants in the exploration, in the research. So there's a lot that goes into sociometry theory, practice, and research. Um, we're going to go through a different, uh, a bunch of different subfields and topics and uh, interventions, methods, ideas, theories within the larger field of sociometry. Uh, I think the best beginning place is to first talk about Moreno's encounter theory and his interpersonal theory. Uh, Moreno says that the simplest definition of his encounter theory and his interpersonal theory is outlined in his 1914 poem, An Invitation to an Encounter. Uh, it's important to keep in mind that this poem and a large portion of Moreno's early work was originally written in German and translated to English, and that some of the meaning, the precise meanings, can get lost in translation. Uh, Moreno says uh, particularly that the word for encounter that he uses in German has a lot more meaning in the German uh, language, the term that he uses, and that it, it's uh, kind of sterilized in, in, when translated to English. Anyway, his poem <coughs> reads, A meeting of two, eye to eye, face to face. When you are near, I will tear out your eyes and place them instead of mine, and you will tear my eyes out and place them instead of yours. Then I will look at you with your eyes, and you will look at me with mine. So this is the, the, the foundation of Moreno's interpersonal theory. And you can see how strongly related this quote is to Moreno's uh, psychodrama intervention of role reversal tearing out your eyes, giving them to someone else, tearing out someone else's eyes and taking them on as your own, seeing yourself through someone else. So Moreno says that <clears throat> the meaning of encounter, his intended meaning, is that it's much more than just a, a meeting. It's more of a uh, an experiencing of two people, that two people are sharing space with all of their strengths and weaknesses, two human actors seething with spontaneity, uh, really encountering each other on a number of different layers. Interestingly, there's a lot of overlap between Moreno's encounter philosophy and Martin Buber's I and Thou concept which was actually published nine years after Moreno's Encounter poem. There's some uh, interesting historical uh, uh, research about the relationship between Jacob Moreno and Martin Buber. Turns out that they worked together on the editorial board of a journal, the uh, D Diamond Journal, and that they clearly had an impact on each other's thinking. Uh, it seems that... Buber's I and Thou concept was probably influenced by Moreno's Encounter Poem and Encounter Philosophy, which had been published nine years earlier. So, <clears throat> uh, the encounter theory, the interpersonal relations theory, is important to know when we, and important to consider when we talk about sociometry. As we expand a little bit broader, broader than just an encounter between two people in terms of sociometric theory, we have the social atom. So I, I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you wanted to read more about these connections, you can check out chapter five in the book. Again, you can download that the entire book for free online, and we'll put a link to the book in the, in the description here. Uh, if you found the book helpful, it would really go a long ways to consider writing an Amazon review, an honest review about the book. If you found this video helpful, um, it would also help 
me and help others see this content, if you were to like the video or subscribe to the video, uh, comment on the video, let me know uh, what stood out to you about this presentation of sociometry. Let me know if you have any questions about sociometry. Let me know if there's other videos that I haven't made yet that would be really helpful for you that you'd like to see in the future. I'm really interested in hearing from you and hearing um, about how this content lands on you, how it's useful for you, or, or how it challenges you, how it fits with ways that you understand other theories, other ways of working. I'm really interested in connecting. So thanks again for watching this video and check out some of the other videos on our channel here.